Thanks for tuning in, guys. Wanted to go quickly over some of the basic universal or semi-universal single pistol magazine pouches that are out there, uh, at least that we're familiar with. So I've got it kind of broken down here into two different styles. You've got your um, straight up elastic style and then your hard sided style that have some kind of a polymer reinforcement through them. So just going around here, um, we've got the, the Snake Eater uh, burrow, pistol burrow here. Um, so this is an outside of the waistband or it is a molly mounted pouch um, that gives you a lot of universal um, fitments. So whether it's something um, cylindrical like a flashlight, um, it still goes in and goes out very easily, um, or a pistol magazine. Um, we'll just throw one of those in there real quick and show you guys that you get a very easy in and a very easy out uh, draw with that. Um, so again, that is either belt mounted or molly mounted. Uh, it will come with the belt mounts, but it is uh, laser cut so that you can change that over to molly if you choose. Um, this has a split stiffener inside of it. Um, so if you do go into the prone or something, lay on it, um, you're not gonna damage it, but it does make it very quick and easy to get uh, your, your mags and things back into it without having to finagle with the top of the pouch. That's one of the downsides to something like the Blue Force Gear uh, version, which doesn't have anything reinforcing that. So getting a, um, a magazine into these um, can really be, I'm not trying to make this difficult here, but it can really be a chore. So for long range days for practicing, um, this is kind of rough to to be doing over and over, uh, you know, for once and leaving it alone and then not practicing with it a whole lot, not a bad version, um, but obviously in and out doesn't doesn't leave a, a lot to, uh, a, a lot of benefits there. The other downside to this is that your attachment is sewn into it. So it's pretty much set up for Molly. You know, you could bypass uh, a row of Molly here, maybe and try and wear it on a belt line, but uh, you're definitely not gonna wear this one inside of the waistband with this attachment being sewn on. So. It brings us to the inside of the waistband uh, pistol burrow. So these are made by Snake Eater Tactical in two lengths. You've got the short and the long, basically an inch of difference between them. Uh, this is a Glock 43 magazine, and then we've got a Glock 17 size magazine in here. And honestly, you can interchange them. Um, so if you wanted to put the short magazines, smaller magazines, into the full size pouch, you would just have a little bit of elastic. So while wearing that inside of the waistband, that really isn't gonna bother you. I've been doing that a, a while myself just to check it out. And uh, honestly, uh, no complaints there. So with that, you could either do the full size or um, you know, the compact style magazines not really have an issue. And of course you could use other items inside of that pouch without any issues as well. So the short version being one inch shorter, um, idea is it's kind of more optimized to those smaller capacity magazines, something like a Glock 43 or Car PM9. But uh, if you wanted to put a full-sized uh, Glock 17, Glock 19 mag in there, I'll just show you what that looks like. Uh, getting it in here, and again, without any stiffeners, these are always gonna be slower to get the magazines into. What you'll notice is just that the magazine's gonna bottom out a little bit sooner. But um, what that does is it leaves you a little bit of access above the belt line. So if you're okay with having the, the top of the magazine protruding above the line of the belt, um, just for an ease of access perspective, uh, the short magazine, uh, the short, short length will do just fine even for those full-size magazines. And of course, it's an ambidextrous pouch. There's nothing um, on either side that's going to jam you up whether you want to wear it right hand, left handed. So um, the neat thing about this also being Molly compatible is that wearing this on the inside of a cummerbund on a plate carrier, it works out really well. So I'm gonna have one of these mounted up on my plate carrier cummerbund because when the magazine or multi-tool or flashlight's not in there, uh, nothing about that's gonna give me any discomfort being up against my body. Um, so for both concealment inside of the waistband, as well as uh, more of a tactical thing being on a plate carrier, um, if you're looking for inside of the cummerbund use, this is a pretty cool place to stash something, um, of course, the dedicated um, pistol burrow is gonna work a lot better um, for repeated draws, repeated access, and, and, and stuff like that. Touching on the other two styles that you guys are probably familiar with, um, these are the, uh, the High Speed Gear Tacos. Kinda one of the originators, uh, or is certainly um, a company that popularized the more universal style of pouch. Um, 
really the complaints about these are just that you, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of kind of different snag points, um, a lot of things that can get caught, um, a lot of things that can kind of get rubbed off or, or taken out of adjustment. Uh, generally speaking, you know, they're, they are convenient to uh, to draw from, to draw out of. You can fine tune the retention to your liking, so that, that's good. Um, one of the things I do want to point out for you is that the lining of these is, is, is a nice heavy duty nylon. Um, so you do get a pretty good consistent um, draw. Um, you know, whether it's whether it's a, a, a polymer exterior magazine or a metal magazine. And that's really the reason I bring that up is to mention the downside with the G-code version. Um, that has this rubberized material um, that's in there and that just has way too much bite. Um, so this is a, a paddle version. You can see how bulky uh, this is for, for wearing it on the belt line. Um, how many different high points there are to snag all around this guy. Um, things to get caught and everything. But the, the draw is very sticky. Um, and that's with um, you know, a, a lot of slack being left in these, um, in, in the elastic. It's still a very slow, very sticky draw, uh, getting in and out of that guy. So certainly not a favorite. Um, and then the last one I'll show, uh, this is the Safari Land Model 71. This is an older version. Um, it's a pretty neat, uh, universal design. Uh, the problem with it, uh, same thing is that it's a very sticky draw, uh, very slow, um, Get, getting things in and out of it. Um, it does work a little bit better for, for cylindrical things like, like lights. Um, it's not as sticky in that respect. But these are manufactured either in a belt version or a molly version. You can't really go back and forth um, between them. And they tend to be, you know, it, it, it's a hell of a lot bulkier uh, of an item. So if, if this is something you're gonna mount on a kit and only use it sometimes, um, this, something like this is just gonna take up a lot of room. You're not gonna wanna wear it on the inside of a cummerbund or anything like that. Whereas, you know, the elastic styles, um, you could you could do that all day really without complaint. Um, so that's that's kind of the the overview um, of how we came to be big fans of the of the snake eater snake eater tactical burrows. Um, either your reinforced uh, outside of the waistband or Molly version, or your inside of the waistband version. Um, like I said, for plate carriers, for inside of the waistband concealment, either length of these are, are going to do well for you. It's just a question of what size magazine you're going to use the most often and how deeply you'd like to carry that item in it. Um, so whether that's a flashlight uh, or a multi-tool or a, um, you know, magazines like the original concept here is, um, all of those uh, will work very well. Um, with nice, good, secure retention, um, even even on the, on the smaller sized items. Um, so we'll just get that in there one more time. So not going anywhere, but your draw is still pretty nice, easy, slick, convenient. Um, so I really recommend checking them out. Um, great option to have, especially for anybody that goes back and forth between different sizes of guns. Uh, if you've got you know different different lengths or different thicknesses of magazines. Um, then you can really kind of do it all with, with these with these magazine pouches. So recommend you, you take a look, and we're pretty sure you're you're not going to be disappointed. Thanks.